and for the first time on stream, we're gonna be seeing Meta Knight. The forbidden chant the forbidden character. He's not really been banned. He hasn't been banned for a long time. It was only a single region. The URC committee was banning him. Uh, he hasn't been banned since, though. He's a pretty good character, very strong. Does win this matchup pretty hard. But with all matchups, it is generally going to be the better player to win. But it's completely possible either of these two can get ahead. The cool strengths that DD's got going, he's heavy. He kills early with up tilt. He's got his chain grab, if he does get the grab. I, I'm not certain, though, if it's like a true chain grab on Meta Knight. I think it's he gets like a hard knockdown or something like that. But you get a tech chase at the very minimum. I know it's like that for his year suit. Not too certain with Meta Knight. Uh, but for most of the cast, it's generally DD's chain grab, his weight, his KO power. And even the disjoint on his back air. Now this matchup is probably going to mostly come down to that back air. Those grabs, his ability to DI effectively. And if he can hit some like good up tilts for the kill. There's a few other options he's got. He's got F smash, up smash, down smash. But typically the most common KO moves you're going to see is back air, like that. And an up tilt. Those are the big ones. Because they're fast. They're fast and they're disjointed. Mad Knight, he's one of the lighter characters in the game. Not like one of the bottom five lightest, I don't think. I think he's somewhere in the like bottom ten, somewhere. I don't know. But he is lighter. He's on the lighter side of things. He gets hit with an up tilt from DD. Probably die at like 95. Somewhere on there. Nothing too too crazy, but pretty early. All things considered. If DDD gets Gimp though, I mean he can be dying at like 30. It just depends on if Poyo is able to put Vex in that type of situation and capitalize to the utmost degree. So far, pretty close set. Pretty close game one. Both lost one stock. Very close in percent, 30 to 46, not too bad. Poyo finding a little opening with a little tornado. Trying to capitalize, maybe overcommits a little bit, gets hit with an up tilt. He's okay, he does take big percent. Gotta remember the thing I mentioned about these percents, right? So, with DDD being as heavy as he is, his stock, it's gonna last longer unless this, unless Poyo is able to hit a Gimp. If he's not able to hit consistent Gimps, then it's gonna look a little weird, because you're gonna see Meta Knight hitting him for a long, long time. A lot of damage being d just drilled into this DDD, but you're not going to see him going anywhere. And if you see Meta Knight die to an up tilt, it's going to be at like 95, 100, somewhere low. It's absurd. It almost seems even unfair, but it's not because Meta Knight's frame data is so damn good. If his frame data wasn't so disgustingly good, this matchup could easily be seen in even, maybe even in DVD's favor. And it all just comes down to the little nuances of this game. That's just how Brawl is, though. Nice down air there. He's got a, got a little bit of a hill to climb, but it does close the stock lead. Now they're on even stocks, still a 50% lead. Vex just needs to hit 50% and get a good read. That's game. On the other hand, Poil, he's looking to get a nice opening and abuse that frame data, hit some frame traps, hit some reads, keep Vex on the back foot the whole time. Do not let him play the game. If he can do that, then he can get his lead back. He can clutch out game one. It's still a possibility. This matchup is Meta Knight favored, but he does have to be pristine. He has to be clean. Vex is a very good player. He's solid. He can hit these grabs. He can be patient when he needs to be. He can make the reads. So you gotta respect both players and understand that at any moment, if Poyo slips up, that could be the end of him. If Vex slips up and gets edge guarded, that's the end of him too. It's a very close game one. The percents, they almost at this point don't even matter. It's just who's gonna make that read. Meta Knight's in kill percent. DVD's not in kill percent, but he is slow. One opening could lead to three or four hits. One read, and that's it. Oh my goodness. This is so close. <laughs> so, oh my god, and the up but it doesn't kill! This is what I'm talking about! This is what I'm talking about. Poyo hits the reed, covers the landing, hits the hits the up B that would kill any midweight, any low weight champion, any low weight character would just be gone. But Dedede, one of the heaviest characters, 
and speak of the devil, that's how it goes. Another shuttle loop, but in a different direction with different DI, and that one works. But the first one, any other character would have died earlier. But DD's heavy, and that's one of his strengths in this matchup. But that was a very close game one, and it goes over to Poyo with a nice clutch, reverse shuttle loop, scoops him into the blast zone. That's how it goes. That was crazy close. Yeah, no problem, Tori. Dude, I love this game, man. Let's see game two. Game two, we're seeing Poyo ban something. Probably look in the ban, but Final D. Final D, you know, DDD, big stage, very short, easier to hit grabs. You know, land camp. Meta Knight a little bit better, maybe get a nicer, easier time in the shuttle loop. With it being a broader stage, he's a lot less likely to get gimped. Because, guess what? Meta Knight hits him. He's not flying off stage immediately. He's flying across the stage. Now he's just got to land. So, that might be the ban. We're going to see what's coming through. The counter pick. If I'm playing Meta Knight here, I think my counter pick's probably Battlefield. I'm looking to keep him above the platform. Because DDD isn't, he's got a disjointed downer, right? But he's not going to down tilt me underneath. And if he's shielding, I can probably get a nice shield poke with a NATO. All I need is a little bit of an opening. Just give me a little, a little inch, a little millimeter. Just him slip up just one moment. And I'm going to abuse that frame data. That's what he's thinking. You know, he should be thinking. I'm going to use every small opening I can get and make the most of it. And we do see the counter pick to Battlefield. But as a surprise, Vex switches over to Game & Watch. And this is a matchup I haven't seen. I've never seen this matchup. I've known people who've played both of these characters, and somehow I've never seen this played. But this one will be interesting. I can imagine how it's going to play out. Back air from Game & Watch is very disjointed. Has a multi-hit. Meta Knight has an up air. That's frame two. If he can get that SD on in the back air, that's free up air on almost every back air that Vex throws out here. Vex, he's also playing Game Watch. He's light. Meta Knight isn't going to have that KO problem he had versus DDD. DDD had to die at 150, 140, get a Gimp off stage. None of that needs to happen in this matchup. In this matchup, Game & Watch, being a lightweight, can die at 100, 110 from a back hit of shuttle, for a down smash, a shuttle loop sweet spot at the wrong angle, with the wrong DI, any little thing can spell disaster at a lower percent. But it goes both ways. They're both light. Meta Knight has the disjoints. He's got less KO power, but his frame data is so strong. And we're going to see that a lot in this matchup. There's going to be spots. It's all about who finds those spots. Maybe a little edge for Meta Knight because his frame data is great. But all it takes is one opening. With that KO power that Game & Watch holds, one opening is the stock at like 80 90, 70 percent even. One good read. I'm seeing some nice control from Poya there. And lets up for one moment and that's it! It's a grab into a down smash! Puts him off stage. Barely lives. My god. This guy's crazy. These guys, these guys are just cracked. Both of them. Absolutely insane. Such slaughtered play. Very back and forth. It's so close. Much closer than my set with Vex was, to be sure. This is really entertaining. I'm loving it. Oh my goodness, the bucket break, dude. Keeping him alive. Yeah, that's... I did mention the weight diff, but you know what? I honestly kind of forgot for a moment. Game & Oh my god, the down air! Game & Watch's bucket is insane in this game. If there's enough distance from the stage where he gets hit to the blast zone, Oftentimes he's going to be able to bucket break, and that what that does is that instantly cancels all his momentum that would send him to the blast zone. He's not always going to be able to do it. Obviously there is hit stun and brawl, especially at higher percents. So if he gets hit in the wrong spot, he's not going to be able to bucket break. But if he can hit that bucket, he can live to like 130, 140. And normally, characters would kill him at like 110, just because he's light. The difference that bucket makes, it's crazy. It's absolutely wild. Nice neutral air, catching him out just barely with the tip of it. Reset, a little reset to neutral. And Poyo opens him up with a little shuttle loop. Keep the spacing. Oh, 
Nice. Not running right in. Poyo being very patient, keeping his distance, saying, nope, you are not going to catch me slipping. I'm going to keep my distance. I'm going to open you up. I got the frame data. I'm making the I'm making the moves. I'm not going to run. Oh, never mind. <laughs> he ran right into that back here. Wait, reset to neutral, more or less. Slight advantage for Poyo. He's got center stage. Not a lot of F tilt, surprisingly, being seen. Wonder, you gotta wonder if it's because of the uh, D tilt from Game and Watch being like super strong. It is a really good opener. And the thing with with Meta Knight, I mean, every character in this game, they're pretty bad and disadvantaged. Some are better at getting out than others, admittedly. But um, obviously, Meta Knight's no stranger to it. If he's in disadvantage, it's rough. Neutral, you know, he, he's he's doing okay in neutral, but disadvantage is always rough because you gotta land. And in this game, shield is so strong, all it takes is you misspace one aerial and you get grabbed. And in this matchup, that could be a down throw into a tech chase. One tech chase read, you're up smashed at 70, you're dead. And a space back air. Wow, that was incredible. If he threw that back air further in, oh my god, I can't even finish the sentence. That downer was crazy. The man went out there. He took the risk. He said, I know you're Meta Knight. I know you can shuttle loop me and end my career, but I don't give a crap, dude. I'm in there. I know where you're going, and I'm not letting it happen. Your, your stock is done now. Oh, oh, a nice opening. Let's see how much Boyo can get off of this. Nice little opening here. It's all about he needs to close the sleep. Oh my god, and an up tilt trade takes the stock at 120. Did not get the bucket break for that one. Oh, oh is that gonna get punished? Okay, up air? Not too rough of a punish. Would have expected something different, to be honest. Oh my goodness. Poyo is just not able to land right now. Vex is just sharking him with these up airs underneath the platform. Poyo can't do anything directly to it because he's so far away and the air just pushes him right back up. Oh, okay, Vex slips up for a moment. Poyo's got his in. Ah, ah and then he immediately threw the, the advantage he had, but he does get a reversal with this NATO. Vex did overcommit a little on edge guard. Oh, does not hit the SDI on that back hair. It's very pivotal. I think if we see Poyo make an adjustment and start hitting the SDI on that back air consistently, we might see an entirely different game. But at the same time, Vex is good. Maybe he'll adjust. We'll, see. we'll you know, we gotta watch and see. It's gonna be crazy though. Oh, and a shuttle loop to clip him. It's on the edge. Does not get the ledge hog. Oh, and a perfectly spaced sweet spot back air. It's the second hit, not the kill. He's up there. Oh my god, and he sneaks in another down smash out of shield. Take the stock.